everybody, Peter here. I'm really excited to be announcing a different initiative that Everyday Entrepreneur 365 is going to be embarking on, plus also me personally. Um, there is a charity that was founded from, by Gold Coast founder, and they do have presence in Brisbane and the Gold Coast, called Baby Give Back. If you have followed along to my stories and looked at who I've interviewed on the Founders Lounge, I interviewed Carly Fragley, who is the founder of Baby Give Back, which is a charity that's designed to help um, women and parents of newborn babies who are in a position um, that is a place where they can't actually supply what they need to be able to supply for their newborn babies. They've either gone through a period of trauma, homelessness, um, uh, distress, um, being in a place where they don't arrive at the hospital with a beautiful baby bag, with all the new things and the new toys, with support and resources around them that a lot of us have privilege to. So Baby Give Back is a charity that is designed to collect items that are useful and helpful to those newborn parents, mostly mothers, um, and babies. So they do put call outs regularly on their website and their social media and what they're actually looking for and what, they're, what, they're, what is the items that are most in need at the moment. For the next four weeks, I'm going to be doing a daily reminder on what is required, how you can purchase things, where you can drop it off, and I will be taking all of the goods from Brisbane to the Brisbane Hub um, by the 15th of December. So it's going to be giving us four weeks to collect as much uh, goods as we possibly can that's going to donate that can we can donate to these families in need before Christmas. The items that are most in need at the moment are preemie nappies, tiny baby clothes, so five zeros to four zeros, onesies, baby wash and shampoo, baby moisturizer, nappy rash cream, uh, new face washes, breast pumps, and in addition, ongoing requests are always for newborn nappies, baby wipes, um, breast pads, pumps, and maternity pads, anything that's going to be supporting a new mother going home with their baby who has often arrived at the hospital with just a plastic bag in themselves, not a lot of resources behind them, no clothes to put them in, and not a lot of the, a, a capability to be able to go and get the resources required. The bigger items that are needed are prams, car seats, cots, um, change tables. Now these items are things which if you have not uh, if you've finished using them in your family and you don't need them anymore and you are looking to what could you do with them next, this could be an opportunity if you want to put it back into the circular economy and provide it for somebody who needs it. Of course, these items, they do need to be safety checked as in, are they safe to use? Are they sturdy? Are they still in good working condition? Most of all, the car seats, they need to be in that and that um, the age bracket where they're still safe to use. So best to look at the brand of the car seat, have a look on the website at the age that it was manufactured and how long it's still um, deemed safe for. But they are the biggest items that are continuously in need. You can always go to their um, social media accounts. So Baby Give Back is on the Instagram and they put alerts up all the time. If you are interested in donating to Brisbane, as in uh, to a collection point in Brisbane, so you don't have to go down to Sumner Park to drop it off at the Brisbane Hub, um, I'm gonna be collecting in Brisbane at my home. So if you would like to donate, get involved, support, please send me a direct message and I will send you the details and where you can and the drop off point in Brisbane where you can contribute. Literally when next time you're in the supermarket, go down the baby aisle, pick up a bag of nappies, pick up a packet of baby wipes. It is not difficult to throw an extra five or ten dollars on top of your weekly shopping bill that is going to have a massive impact on some of these women's lives and the young children's lives. Please do consider it. I'm going to be reminding you every day for the next four weeks. Don't forget the people that are in need this Christmas. What is gave Baby Give Back? Sure. So Baby Give Back is a charity supporting vulnerable families with mm -hmm. the essential items that they need to keep their children safe. So we collect donations from the local community. We partner with social workers, midwives and family support workers to support families in crisis with all of those basic essentials. Cots, prams, car seats, clothing, nappies, formula, everything you need for a child to have a safe start in life. So well, I walked in downstairs and I passed all of the cots. Um, there's high chairs, there's prams. Now, is everything here donated? Yes. All right, we'll go for a walk through downstairs. So talk us through what we have here. Oh my gosh, all these cots. Are these cots? Uh, no, no, no. These oh, the change tables. Oh, trolleys. Oh, they're the... Okay. And transport things around in. Um, so these are prams that have been safety checked and are ready to go into an order for a family in need. Um, so
And prams are in high demand. Very high demand. Yep. And a pram, we call it a freedom machine. Yes, because people can get out and about, um, go on public transport. Often they don't might not have their own vehicles, yeah. And even talking to one of the schools we work with in Logan, the, where we've been able to provide a pram where there's a younger a baby sibling to yes. help increase school attendance because on a rainy day, they don't have to walk carrying a baby in. Community. So there you go, donating prams helps school attendance. Who would have thought that was the connection, but yes. And so in here we've got... So this is where people come and drop off donations. Um, so we've got volunteers who are helping to sort through donations. Um, everything comes in the door and gets put into kind of an area mm -hmm. where you need it. So we've got car seats that are being worked on. All the car seats, we take the covers off and wash them, yep. inspect the shelves. And can you explain the age yeah. of they need to be far, less than five years old? Eight years, eight old. years old? Yeah, yep. car seats only good for 10 years. Okay. Um, so as long as they're eight years or under, then we can rehome them for a family with some life left in them. Okay. Then we have pots and mattresses here. This is a lot of work involved in making sure there is. the pot is safe. Sometimes we have to sand them and paint them, match up the mattresses. Mattresses are all different sizes, but you've got to have yeah. the particular size for that. For the right cot. cot. Yep. Um, these are some of the new car seats that we've been able to purchase, ready for families. There's clothing boxes up there ready to be packed into an order. So are they donated clothes or yes. new clothes? Donated or donated, yep. So the this is where we have all of our nappies and wipes um, and boxes of things ready to go. So these are the things that anybody can pick up when they're in the supermarket. Bring them in, drop them off. Yep. yep. Um, so we will we will pack clothing, clothing packs, linen and safe start boxes into all these kind of boxes. And it's customised for what the family needs. So depending on the child's age, um, size of clothing that they need, the shoes will be packed up together as well that will go yep. in with an order. Everything that's packed into these boxes is in really good condition. Okay. It's clean, there's no stains, folded beautifully, it's a variety. Mm -hmm. There's a book in every box as well. Books are really, really important to so make sure that we have um, children have access to literature as much Amazing. as possible. Amazing. Constantly going through. Books. So there's lots of different organisations that do book drives. They probably c combine the efforts and somehow funnel them in here. But obviously this is very early age books. Or what what age group are we looking at? Yeah, our core focus is five years and under. Okay. But we support older siblings a lot. So yes. Um, we will often have a book pack that we will give to an older child. Mm -hmm. um, we work with a lot of libraries. We'll give us you know books as they turn over. Schools will do book drives. Um, we'll do toiletry items as well. So these will all be um, some toiletries for a dad or a carer. There's toothbrushes, deodorant, shampoo and conditioner, toothpaste, all of those basic essentials. I love that. So we're looking after the dads as well. Yep. <coughs> Women's, so that's for the mums and yep, okay. We've got in here, there'll be toy packs. So this has been packed and labelled for the age appropriateness. So there's books, puzzles, some craft items. So this is so. What is this for, Carly? Is this for siblings of the families, or? Yeah. So it depends on what we've been asked for. So okay. A caseworker might contact us. This might be. This is a, a girl, three to five years. They might have a, a four-year-old fleeing domestic violence. Okay. Um, and it's been taken out of home yep. and have nothing. Yep. So something like this. That's why we pack into backpacks. Okay. We don't know what what kind of living conditions they're in, but. This could be really important. Um, we have a focus on developmental toys. So okay. sometimes there'll be a specific request um, because a child might have developmental issues or mm -hmm. um, something specific. Other, otherwise, this might be a comfort yep. um, access point. So toys, backpacks, I love it for all age groups. And what age group would we go up to for these backpacks if people um, are thinking about donating? Kind of five. Five, years. five years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, we also do feeding packs, so um, they vary depending on the age and the requirement. So this, this is actually a feeding pack for a six month plus, so there's sippy cups, bowls, plates, um, we do bottle packs for younger babies. Mm -hmm. We, our view is fed is best, so yes. we support with breast pumps, we support with formula, um, we work with caseworkers who are supporting families, so they tell us what the family needs right. and we will provide what they need. Amazing. Um, we've got the sort of younger baby toys with the play mats and yep. um, those 
smaller items there. And all your stock up there. <laughs> is that just more stock that needs to be sorted? Yes. Um, and the back room here, this is our little kids area for volunteers who come in with little ones with them. Okay, so people who are volunteering can come in with their little ones and at least keep them entertained yeah. Yeah, or try to. Yeah. Oh um, my gosh, what's happening in here? This is where most of the, the sorting happens and packing. So we've got clothes boxes being yep. packed here. So this is what they look like. Um, as you can see, taking lots of care to make sure there's a variety of things in yes. the boxes. So every box will have about enough for 12 months mm. worth of stuff that a child will need. There'll be a mixture of winter and summer and tops and bottoms and hats and you know, swimmers if we have them and things like that. Amazing. Um, so we've got, you know, the, the donations get sorted so that we can pack from here. So there's everything um, from the stuff that goes into toiletry packs to the stuff that goes into feeding and bottle packs, linen um, and clothes as mm. well. We try, sustainability is really important to us. So we keep, um, you know, recycled plastic bags okay so that we can reuse them for our packs we've got um some really incredible volunteers and talented people who'll turn a pillowcase into a amazing bag that we can use for a toiletry bag or a book bag and mm -hmm. things like that so where we where we're given linen that's um not to a condition that we think it's appropriate to put into yep, a linen you can bag. maybe make it into something else it can be um turned into a bag or we'll divert things as much as possible so we'll work with animal welfare shelters mm -hmm. when we have you know linen that's not suitable that might be good for wildlife carers and things like that then giving keeps on giving <laughs> absolutely and so when do you run out of space <laughs> <laughs> six months ago <laughs> we are working on yes. um, securing a larger space in the yes it's clearly needed yes so. and so the gold coast space is larger again the gold coast space is larger than this yes um, and then we've just taken over a bigger space again well. and is it all for storing stuff like this as well we don't store a lot the no goal is to get it out in and out as quickly mm. as possible. what is the average turnaround so let's just say these boxes being packed now how soon will they make it to their destination pretty quickly like generally within about a week okay um so we we can give out anywhere between 150 and 200 clothing boxes a month right on average um, we're helping at the moment between 800 and a thousand children every single month wow so, um, sometimes it looks like there's a lot of stuff but it's because there's a it's lot all of stuff moving going out every day mm. so we you know last month we gave out 80 prams 80 um, prams so there's there was only about four yes ready to go yes so there's a lot of hustle and it in and out quick turnaround mm. when somebody donates an item like a pram and they've cleaned it um, then it means we can get it out, out quicker. Sooner. If somebody donates a car seat and they can tell us it's not been an accident and they've checked the date on it mm. um, or even washed the covers, again, yes. that means it's a faster turnaround for us. And do you contact then the caseworkers or whoever is responsible getting it to the destination? Yeah, so caseworkers will generally come and pick up from us. Yes. Um, we have a triage system where we're prioritising the orders that come in. So it's not first in best dress, mm -hmm. it's based on the actual particular circumstances of families so mm. um, there's quite a lot of work involved with that many kids needing support every month mm. um, we'll prioritize urgent situations so sometimes it'll be a phone call from a case worker that um, a mum has birthed early someone has fled DV and has nowhere to go mm -hmm. and that they need to pick up something today yes so our team will be as responsive as we can um, and the goal is to help as many families as we can mm. in that within that structure yep amazing I love it. There's lots, lots going on. The hive activity. What is the busiest day in here? What is the busiest day inside it this really, space? It changes a lot, um, and it's different in Brisbane to it to it is on the Gold Coast. Yes. Wednesdays are our busiest day on the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. um, Brisbane, I think Thursdays are. So, mm. um, but every day we still have space for more volunteers. We also welcome people if they're interested, just curious, and want to pop in. Have a look. Come have a look. Mm -hmm. Have a chat to one of our. And of course, drop off and donate anytime. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you. I think we've got 